Just days after the International Uganda Para Badminton event, 150 Africans from 11 countries are in the running for the African champion title in the All Africa Para Badminton tournament. Participants will compete over a week's period in six categories, standing lower three and four, standing upper five, wheelchair one and two, and SS6. The, the difference between this one and the last one, which ended on Sunday, is that the other one had all players from all, all over the world. Uh, but this one is ex exclusively African players. And of course, we have got uh, 11 countries which are here, here physically, though 14 had entered. It means that all of those are here. And their aim is to see that they accumulate points which can help them in the future to qualify for world championships. At the same time, to build on those points to see that when the, when the rankings uh, qualification is set for Para, Paralympics, that is Paris, they can be able to build on those points to qualify for para, para Games. After failing to get my gold or silver that I really wanted during the Uganda International, I'm, going, I'm having to focus on achieving the gold and also protecting my position as number one Africa. Uh, Uganda being the host has the highest number of participants at a total of 48. Uganda put up a strong performance, but basing on how our athletes performed in the previous tournament, we have decided to give them enough time to rest so that it enables them to prepare well for this current tournament. So we are hoping that with what we prepared and how the little experience they have got from the, little experience they have got from the pre previous tournament, they'll be able to perform favorably in this tournament. This is the second time Uganda is hosting the tournament, having hosted the first in 2018. Grace Joyce Kengisa, UBC News.